Alright, in order to download flash games and save them to an executable, first you will need to download two programs, one called Flash 2x Flash Hunter, the other SWF uh, Maestro, you can get that by either googling the name or you can google uh, .swf2.exe and you'll also find it. So, once you have those two downloaded and installed, you can find your game. I'm going to be using the Portal Flash game that was just created. So you want to Google the name of your game. Usually the best links to look for are the ones that actually have SWF in their name. It's right there. There's a big huge link to the game and it has SWF at the end. So you want to get that, you know, copy it, and then paste it right into the little address bar at the top there right up there and then you hit go and you will it'll load the page the game's already loaded then you want to right click on your link hit save as name it as name it something I usually just name it game.swf so save it it'll say saving uh, portal is kind of a big game so it takes a little bit to save And in the meantime, you can go ahead and start up uh, the SWF Maestro. Um, you can call it whatever you want. Just call it Portal, I guess. Uh, there's a whole mess of stuff you can all fill in. There's company names, product names don't have to do that stuff it just kind of makes the final game look kind of nicer you know in the properties and everything um, but the real thing you're after is you want to go down into files and then files for compilation make sure you have one SWF file selected hit browse select your game uh, make sure everything is just set to its default you can change it if you know what you're doing but most of it the default settings are fine Make sure everything's all looking nice. And once you have everything selected, you can just hit compile up at the top. It'll compile it. And once it's done compiling, you can, the default location is in uh, my documents under SWF Maestro. Go into that, then output. There's your game double click it and it'll say it was made with a uh, unregistered version that's fine doesn't affect the actual performance of the game hit ok and your game will start and you can play it so I hope that helps you